All right, it's probably going to be the final episode of this bloody Halloween arc. This one's called The One and Only. I'm very curious as to what's going to happen. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Tokyo Revengers, episode 21. Last episode, we had Baji literally 1v15 going absolute ham. Kisaki said, he's be careful of Baji. He's the only one who's ever beaten him. He was this close to stabbing ba or Kisaki right in the throat. He was waiting for a second, and then he the after effects of the Kazutora stab started to hit him, coughing up a whole lot of blood. Might die. I don't know. Very curious to find out what happens. If he does, Mikey's gonna go. Hang this could literally be the same scenario that we didn't want to play out. Play out. So very nervous, very excited. I'm about to hop into this. Hope you guys are as excited as I am. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description, like always, for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Tokyo Avengers, episode 21. Uh, one for all. No, this one's one and only. Let's do this. That's what I was saying. He was so close. Jifu Yu's running up. And it's from that stab earlier. Fucking. Didn't Kazutora stab him? Yeah. Yeah, he was just playing it off like a manly man. And he's still just fucking crazy. Mikey's back up? Oh, I don't like that look on his face. Yeah, he's saying Kazutora let him in just so he can kill him himself. He's literally trying to make Mikey kill Kazutora. So the plan can go just like Kisaki wants. Oh, oh no, I don't like the look of this. It was Baji? Oh man. Yeah, he has that dead look in his eyes. Finally, someone's able to knock Hanma's ass out. That was the mightiest of kicks. Oh my fucking god. My God, the sound of these kicks. This is exactly the scene from the past. This is exactly how we killed Kazutora. The giant cross he had to bear. <sighs> yep. You have to do something, Takamichi. Things are literally going exactly as they were supposed to for Kisaki. Ooh, a flashback of. That was Kisaki calling him. Look at Draken going hard. Oh. Oh. 
So that's why he feels abandoned by Baji as well, because Baji is technically still on Mikey's side. Oh, he's crying too. Yes, you did, Kazutora. This is horribly sad. He's still alive. He's gonna probably tell Mikey to stop. Baji's the only one who could stop Mikey. It doesn't seem like for much longer though, which is sad. I sure hope not. Yeah, it really is. I think he just wanted to put Kazutora at peace. Kazutora didn't felt like the way he did. Bro, this is so depressing. He definitely wanted Kazutora to feel somewhat at ease that he wasn't the lot he wasn't the cause of losing the thing most important. He didn't want Kazutora to feel like he abandoned him. Yeah, he just cares about his boys. And Kazutora. That's that's horribly sad, especially because of realizing how nice Kazutora or not Kazutora, how nice Baji is and how much he cares for his treasures, his close friends, you know, but he also fulfilled somewhat of what Takamichi wanted because he said, please don't die. It'll make Mikey sad. And he knew by being killed at Kazutora's by Kazutora, it would enrage Mikey. And he thanked Mikey for getting mad for his sake. But by dying by his own hands, for the sake of all of his friends, Mikey should not... Uh, it's just, it's so depressing, but it, it, it does work out. It's horribly sad. And he sees Shinichiro. He's not the only one to see Shinichiro in Takamichi, though. Mikey said the same thing. Protect them. We've definitely had our ups and downs with Baji, but he was a real one. Absolutely.
got to give a big R.I.P. to a real one. Baji Keisuke. Oh, that was... That was super sad. Mikey is still furious, which makes sense. You were right, Chifuyu. You were definitely right. You have a responsibility. You have to not only protect Mikey, but the future atonement as well. This isn't what Baji-kun would want. He still has that charm with the picture of them. That's super sad. Very sacrificial. It's the only way he thought he could bring his two boys together. Is by taking his own life. I thought it was Mikey who dropped that, but no, it was Baji. That's even more cool that it was Baji. He was a real one. I get why you guys kept commenting Baji best boy. It all makes sense now. Rest easy up there, big dog. Oh, that was quite the episode. Oh my god. Oh, well, I was somewhat expecting Baji to die, but absolutely not in that way. He did indeed make the ultimate sacrifice, but it was the only thing he thought he could do at the time to bring his friends together. Because at the end of the day, he wanted the original Tomon gang to stay the original Tomon gang, and he did not want any of this bloodshed, any of this more violence to, to go down. That is crazy. He really was for Tomon the whole time. He, he he knows Kisaki is the enemy. He didn't want Kazutora feeling responsible. He didn't want Mikey to feel anger over what Kazutora did as well. And Kazutora or Mikey said he thought about killing Kazutora after he got out of Juvie, but the one who talked about him the whole time was, was Baji. And it, it makes so much sense because Baji literally is the perfect down the middle he understands both sides he felt so bad for what he did for what him and kazutora did and for mikey during that situation but he also was there with kazutora so he feels for him as well because he knows it was an accident he knows it wasn't anything to do on purpose to mikey he saw kazutora snap he was like i'll always be there for you we'll go through the gates of hell together it's like it's he's such a real one i i completely understand why you guys said baji best boy like oh and he's man he took his own life that is actually insane and I, I do love that that little easter egg that he was the one who dropped the charm he's had that charm the whole time i thought it was mikey maybe mitsuya maybe draken because they're all founding members but no it was him the end of the day, that's what he wanted. You know, all the shit talk, all the him leaving, all the betrayals was just him working the long con, trying to get Kisaki out of there, trying to get Pa back in, trying to get everyone just to be cool with each other, which I don't know if it's going to work out. I have no idea how this is going to end, but I have to, I have to get it up for him. Baji was an absolute real one. He definitely was. He was a savage, great fighter, even better friend. Damn, 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 damn. Very depressing episode. There's a reason I call it Tokyo Depression. <sighs> you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for early access, full length. We are four episodes ahead. Follow all the social medias. Subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post on the Dapper channel. Drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Appreciate you guys very much. Have a great day, Dapper Squad.